into Studio 5. So switching up your hair color is never an easy task. We've all either had or at least heard of horror stories where a color doesn't quite go as planned. So before you take the plunge and decide to be a platinum blonde shell or a beautiful brunette, listen up. Beauty expert and stylist Megan Moore says there is a serious science and theory that goes into what color will look best on you. So what sort of things should you take into account when choosing your hair color? Well, first and foremost is skin tone. That's the, that's the biggie. And people don't always know what their skin tone e even is. So that's hard to start out with. But if you have a lot of pink undertone or a lot of green undertone, that can really affect the way a color looks on your face. So this even goes beyond, because I think 10 years of hosting this show, we've talked a lot about cool tones, warm tones. I still don't know that I fully grasp it. This goes even beyond that. We're talking undertones. Yes, we're talking actually the pigments in your skin. So people either lean towards yellow, pink or green on those pigments. And so if you're in a pink family and then you have something in your hair that's got too much green in it, then those are not gonna look good together. So it's kind of, it's a tricky thing. It is kind of a science. And we do try to, try to take in the overall picture, uh -huh. including your eye color as well. All those things kind of play into it when we're making those decisions at the salon. So here's the thing, as somebody who works in the broadcast industry, the news industry, I can't sit back and watch a newscast without being a subtle critic, right? About mm -hmm. what I'm watching or hearing or the writing that I'm listening to. Totally. I imagine you're the same. When you look at hair color, are you constantly evaluating yes. the stylist? It's kind of bad. Sometimes I have to like try and turn my brain off where if I'm like at a concert or something where I can see the back of everybody's heads in front of me, I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's not good. Or like a football game. I, I'm the worst at football games because like in <laughs> half times or like when there's times out, I'm always like looking around. But So if you turn yeah. around to the jazz game and see Megan staring you down, yeah. you if probably I have binoculars need to know. on you mm -hmm. and your toast. But really, how often would you say women have the wrong hair color for their skin tone? I would say probably about 30% of the time people are wearing the wrong color. Really? Yeah, unfortunately, because it's just hard to make that decision. Either A lot of times that will happen with women that are doing their own color. Uh -huh. You go to the grocery store and you see all those boxes and it can be very overwhelming to know which one is the right sure. one. Um, and then a lot of times it's people that just kind of get stuck in the past, right? They used to be a blonde, they used to pull off different colors and then they keep doing it probably when they should let go of it. So sometimes it's just that they haven't evolved and tried new things. Right. Well, and here in Utah, the joke runs, we love our blonde color, right? Blonde's a tough color for a lot of skin cone, tones to, to get right. Absolutely. Blonde is not easy. It's it's definitely hard to pull off, and there's such a wide variety. There's cool blondes, and there's warm blondes, and so somewhere in between, you have to find what's right for you. And, and at some point, it may not be right for you anymore, so sometimes there needs to be a conversation where we say, you know what, let's try something new and kind mm -hmm. of get past that blonde that you used to have, but you don't have it anymore. Well, here's the great news. There is a point to this conversation. Next month, Month, Megan is going to dive deep and help us all crack the color code, sharing exactly what hair colors will flatter your skin tone and how to get the results you want. And she's offering a free consultation and a free hair color for three of our viewers. Thank you so much. Yeah. So here's how it works. We want you to snap a photo of your current hair color. It doesn't even have to be a you know obnoxious, embarrassing selfie. It could be any family with any family photo with your kids, with your grandkids. It could be a photo that you've already posted. We want to see it though on Instagram or Facebook. Just tack on the hashtag S5 color me pretty and then tag both studio five at KSL and beauty snoop tag those two handles in either one of your posts. And we are going to choose three winners at random to be back with us talking about learning along with you how to get that perfect hair color. So Megan, thank you so much. We're You're excited. welcome. I'm excited too. Super fun. Get those photos in, get those tags in again, the hashtag S5 color me pretty. When